So around a third of marriages in New Zealand end in divorce, which means shared custody is very common. But how do you deal with your ex when your rules are different to theirs? Joining us in Coffee Group today, psychologist Sarah Chatwin and parenting advisor John Cowan. Morning, guys. Good morning. Hi. Lovely to have you here. Thank um, you. Sarah, couples split because they don't see eye to eye, obviously, but then That's they have right. to get back together and uh, look and to, to talk about childcare arrangements, make sure they're raising their children in the fashion that they want to. How do you do that? Look, it's really difficult because you make a decision that you don't want to be with this person, mm. but you do have to parent with this person if you have children. So I think for me, the key is that parents need to leave their relationship issues out there, put that in a box, yep. and deal with parenting quite separately. Because, you know, you're, you're bound to have emotions, grief, pain, anxiety, stress around the divorce, dissolution, mm. or conscious uncoupling, yeah. as we call it today. Conscious uncoupling. Exactly. But you can't... <laughs> Thanks, Gwyneth. Yeah. But you can't take that out on your kids because they didn't ask to be brought into that mm. situation, and they still need two effective parents. Yeah. Yeah. It's a tough thing, though, to, mm. for as an adult who's going through a divorce to actually try and put that relationship into a box. What would be your advice, John, for parents who have um, separated, how they can... Oh, just just bear in mind that bad spouse doesn't mean bad parent, and you don't have to demonise everything that the other person does just because you've still got some issues boiling away. So try to avoid making your children the sort of the weapon to use against your ex. That, that's got to be the top Very one. Very important. I would say that would be my yeah. top tip. Demonising, using the children as pawns, that is so childish. Mm. It's almost like role reversal, like parents yeah. are becoming the children, and you mm. don't want to do that. You've got to really shift your mindset mm. and make sure that you're parenting effectively. That said, you can actually get it working very well and research shows that even though it's obviously a bit stressful going backwards, backwards and forwards yeah. between homes, they actually do better in shared custody than they do just staying with one parent and that's measuring stress symptoms over years. Mm -hmm. So yes, you can make it work. Yes, it can work well for the kids. What about uh, parents who sometimes say that they stay together for the children even though they may hate each other's guts? Is that yeah. ever going to be a good idea? I don't think that's necessarily a good idea. What do you think? It can be if it holds people long enough together to actually work through right. to a better place. But if children so. are seeing parents fighting yeah, on, on the daily, that is not healthy because you are role modelling for your children and mm. they are thinking, well, this is what a relationship yeah. is all about yeah. people at war so I don't know whether that's the best no. best scenario one, isn't it? I'll yeah. take a slightly different view in that I think that one of the good things about being a parent is that it inspires me to be a better husband <laughs> in that I, I, I am doing this you know not just for me not just for us as a couple but with these little people as well so mm. yeah there, there there is an aspect of that which is true and positive that's, that's yeah. the story yeah. so John what if your ex's rules are stricter than your rules how do you get around that one First of all, I don't think that you should make comments to the kids about your opinion of their, uh, of your ex's rules right. because that's just passing your kids ammunition to use against you. But it's all also elevating them to role of parent yeah. and that is not what parenting is about. Mm. You want to parent your children until they are at an age when they're making their own decisions. Yeah. So no, that's a no-go area, isn't it? Yeah. And actually kids are very good at handling different rules in different situations. They handle different rules at school, they handle different rules at the rugby club. Mm -hmm. They So they actually can adjust to different rules in different places. In our house, in this place here, this is what we do. Okay. That could be difficult though, say difficult, maybe if one's impossible. more of a disciplinarian than the other, yeah. that sort of dad's harder than mum, I mean how do you get around that? I, I think you are going to have those scenarios quite frequently and again it's really important to bite your tongue and not say too much mm. about the differing rules and at the end of the day if things are really heated in your divorce dissolution scenario you can only do what you can do in your scenario, you have very little impact you know, on the other scenario, in case, you know, mm. yeah. unless you take, you know, you get legal and things, you know, go down that path. I think you just have to do the best that you can do with what you have. Mm. Okay, and finally, what do you think would be the most common problem and the solution that people run into? With well, there's all sorts of ones, but yeah. one of them is just the transitions. And could I just say the best tip for transitions is always drop a child off. Don't go and pick them up. Uh, dropping them off just has a different psychology about it. 
rather than arriving to take someone away right. and, and uh, disengage them from whatever they might be doing. Dropping them off, it's an introduction, it's happy, so that's just a tip. Okay, and Sarah, what's yours? I would suggest that parents sit down, if they can in this scenario, and it's probably a, you know, a few months down the track, and make some decisions about how they are going to behave. Mm. If you want your children to behave, behave yourself. Mm. Act like an adult, man up, take the situation for what it is, and, and try to, to give the best that you can give to these children. Make kids the focus, not your relationship. Mm. Be the grown up in the relationship. Absolutely. Sarah John, thank you so much. Thank and you. We, we didn't even go down the road of all the leftover shoes and the yeah. socks and the things <laughs> that we left at the different parents' houses. Too tough. Too tough. That was really good advice. Thank you so much. Thank you.